Hello and welcome back. This is Frost Terror and we are playing MLB The Show. Once again, we got 80 wins. Uh, one more and we are officially uh, at 500 for the season. Even if we lose everything else. Um, let's see. Let's get our... We're on the road, I think, yeah? At the race, yeah. Um... See tanked. Tropicana Field. Merrill. Killing it. Uh, we got a righty on the mound. Let's see. Let's get Schwerber up in here. I mean, honestly, this, this trade-off is probably the better of the deals, I think. He's just, yeah, he's just first base, okay. Fielding is 32. Hey, look, I'm only benching Pete Alonzo for, like, <laughs> regular stretches of time. Good lord. All right, let's do it. From inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay. Inside Tropicana Field. Kind of like, why won't it let me skip race. this? First pitch coming at you right after the break. Um, let's do this. Coming up on the first pitch, our starter in this one, Zach Eflin. Turn off controller. Turn on controller. Confirm. He stands out to me. Why won't you let me do this? Save and exit. Save and exit. What's going on? Why is this being stupid? Sure. I don't know what you're doing, but get out of here. Bum 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 bum. Hey everyone, it's Book Shambi. Welcome to the show. And welcome in if you're just joining. Team select. Why won't it let me select? Joining us, oh, there it goes. Chris okay, I'm good, John good, good. Finally. Still in the first inning, nothing, nothing, our score. Ready to go now? This is Corbin Carroll. Oh, and there's man. one down. So much drama. That raid looks sick. Standing though. hitter in Cattell Marte. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball. One out. Two base strikes. is empty. I got shit in my eyes. This is a great. I've been away from baseball for a couple days. Trying to finish Faye falling and. 
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Two outs. Popped up. Diaz Ooh. moves under it. Corrals it. And that's the third out. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Ball to strike. Foul ball there. I think it's hilarious when they have the, like the bullpens on the side, like just open like that. It's so dangerous. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths. It's not just the pitcher. It's like it's dangerous for the pitchers. It's dangerous for the outfielders. Think about that potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted. Yeah. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And into Looking second with easily double. with a two out double. All over that one right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And a one two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning. So all pitchers are back. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four. Well, back. All pitchers are back. At second with two down. Still two and two after the foul ball. This one on the ground to Castellanos. Over to first. Oh. That is the inning. The Rays strand. And we're back. And the batter now, Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Yeah. Pretty good pitch there. Oh, go down and in. I dare. He get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Swing and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I mean, I dared, I dared him. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And a pitch. Here's a swing. And oh, a yeah. Field and he knew it. I said he knew it, but it looks like he barely went over the fence. Home run number 10 of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2 nothing. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. Hits the fence. And he hit it too hard. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. The pitch. And another ball. Oof. Early on the cutter. And the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So up next, Jake McCarthy. Runner takes off. In the left center for a base hit. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Now the D-backs catch Gabriel Moreno. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. 
Low squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. The oh, tag gets out. him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Perdomo is so, so slow. And now in Tampa Bay, now it's Randy at Rosarena. Fouls one off. Two and two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Got him. Got him. Those Tampa Bay uniforms are fire. Wow, at the plate. I will Pitch. say. And a good eye there. The Rays trailing by two here in game They're one of this three game set. And it's even up. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. And it finds its way through for a hit to third. And it throws off line, safe at third. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, cut out in front, and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Hit in the air, center field. Ah. McCarthy settles under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He'll score on the sack fly and a 2-1 ball game now. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Logan Driscoll next to hit for the Rays. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. One and two now. Out to center. Okay. McCarthy pulls that one down. I'm tired, man. And that I'm tired. Top half of the third inning. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Corbin Carroll. On the ground. And that one finds its way through. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Man on get a base to start here. the inning. I don't think he's gonna get to 100 steals. The by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now the runner on the goal. There's a ball. Throw yeah, we'll save. That's a stolen base. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe he might actually. That one the other way, and he'll play it on a bounce. The throw in, not in time. He's safe, and a run comes in to score. Well, it was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base nod, you add a run. And now it's Christian Walker. And that one lifted in the air center field. Yeah, right at the center field. Siri snags it, one away. Butts, man, butts. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Kyle Schwarber. And the right-hander deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Rolled to short. Possible two ball. Glove flip to second. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. So one run in the inning on this. Bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Josh. Yeah, Moore. but the first one wasn't really hitting into a double play. It was a. Uh... There's a swing and a drive. And in one hops the wall. Now he'll turn for second, and he's got a leadoff double. Misinformed. For a lot of times in today's game, I feel there's a up. to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. On the first, one gone, bottom of the third inning. Nice job behind the plate there. Yandy Diaz now. That one missing inside. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The Diamondbacks leading by two here in the last half of the third. Got it by him for the K. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a fool. 
Inside, just missed. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Yeah, I should update. MB should update the announcers. Wing Hear this shit all the time. Out. One left for Tampa, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. <laughs> You're gonna get it if I hear it a couple times a year or whatever. But to hear it like almost every single game is annoying as fuck. The 2 2. And another ball. No, not inside, okay. Swung on, belted. Siri going back on it. Two homers today, let's go. Another homer. Loris is feeling it. second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. <laughs> it's 4-1. He ran the count full and saved his best swing for last. That was a battle, and he won. Dude, look at that Next gross hit, shoot. Geraldo Perdomo. Lined, and that's a base hit. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The 1 1. And that one hammered. That ball's carrying. Oh. In on the warning track. Nick. So close. So close. God. He's on, dude. Ground ball right side could be two to Crawford for one. Throw to first, safe. Man at first, and here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Two outs. Run around the move. Strike in there. Safe at second with a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Man on second, two down. Brother goes again. Out towards right center. That's well struck. There this we looks go. Like More extra runs. Run comes in from second. It's 5-1, and that's a two-out double. More runs. I like the runs. Over that one. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Line drive. Siri. Leather on the run again. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. And that one clips the corner. I keep thinking that the Y button is a changeup, and it's clearly and not. I think Brandon B is a changeup. Yeah. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. That's yeah. strike two. Two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Two outs, base is empty. J.P. Crawford now at the plate. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. He goes down looking. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down five, one. Sean Armstrong on a pitch out of the pen here. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And we're back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Cattell Marte. Kicks 
Sandios. Added to ah. the line. Sizing this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Christian Walker digs in now. Tapped softly on the ground. Over to Diaz. And yeah, there's two away. So now here's the DH. Kyle Schwarber. The 1-1. One, one. In there at the knees. Ooh, nice pitch. Some action. Kevin Kelly warming up for manager Kevin Cash. And another ball. Left hand batter waves. Hit hard. That gets through. Shouldn't have put the shift on, man. And that keeps the inning going. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Guriel. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. And the runner holds. The pitch. Right side. Low has it sized up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Probably not going to have a four home run game, Lord. If sorry. Back here at Tropicana Field. Now here is three, we'll Jose Siri. And that oh, misses off the outside edge. Well, these Rays looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Bounced out to short. Perdomo on the first. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to be watching Alien. Nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. There we go. Right. One down, base is empty. And you got to give some credit to got the They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Fights it off, he'll see another. Oh no, it's going to stop. Here's a one two. Short hop liner handled it short. Fires to first. Oh man, for the fifth inning, moving along. Two right quick here, outs. Number 15. So the batting order turns over. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. Two down, nobody on. Out there to center. McCarthy on the move. He's there. He's got it. And that's the inning. All right. Back now in Tampa Bay. New inning getting started. Leading off, Geraldo Perdomo. Righty delivers. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. And it's that a rolls into the for corner. Perdomo. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going. To and he can't come up with it. Six. And now the center fielder, fielder, Jake McCarthy. Right-hander kicks deals. That's a ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And a two-one on the way. Fouled off. He was late. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Yeah. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Gabriel Moreno. Stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The pitch. And there's a base hit to left. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. 
Bases now loaded. Only one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. A big swing and a miss. All loaded up, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Comebacker could be two to the plate for one. To first double play, the old Lawrence Welk. A one, a two, a three, and that'll do it. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job. Bottom of the six, Tyro Estrada to the plate. He's hitting all kinds of different plays, man. All right, so they're loading up, getting ready to go down to the planet for the first time. And aliens. Towards first, Walker. And he takes it himself for the out. The first baseman, number two, Yandy, Yandy Diaz. Diaz. Next to hit for the Rays. Center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Isak Paredes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a new arm out of the bullpen, Kevin Kelly. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Here's Cattell Marte. Righty to the plate. Three. Swings and Oops. misses. And there's Had one the away. Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you one get ball. a pitch like that, you <laughs> cannot miss it. Those have a chance well, to go a hit streak. Double barrel action four. in the bullpen. Garrett Clevenger warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Poche warming up as well. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Kyle Schwarber. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a... And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh, and stepping in for the Rays, Randy Arozarena. In there. And so now one and two. This one in the air. Castellanos has a beat on it. Pulls it in for the out. The batter, number eight, designated hitter. Brandon, Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Right through there for a strike. Punch out there. Two uh, gone now. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. A one two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two outs. We're an express over through the hail. Going it's down. Does this still work? It does not. And a one two. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Multi hit game for him now. And with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Oh. Missed with a changeup. And that's ball two. What for all these Diamondbacks digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have 10 hits over 90 miles per hour in this game. It's kind of turning into BP down there for some of these guys. 
2 2 now. Wouldn't Thank chase you. that time. I'm not saying they do, but with the way they're squaring up the ball right now, it's almost like they know what's coming. They seem very confident at the play. Hammers that one deep left field. Three, baby. Dude, he's just fucking feeling it tonight. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 6-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Colin Poche into the game. He's in the game with the bases empty. Crawford racing over to make the catch. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's now part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me yeah. off. But he Help stayed focused know. and made a nice catch right there. So digging in, Nick Castellanos. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the <laughs> afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. In the air of the infield, catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and he makes the catch. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty now good had timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped yeah. it up. McCarthy. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Now before the 1 1, time is called. Yeah, got here. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Randall Gritchick. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Way inside, and that hit him. He hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That smash towards center. And makes the grab, and that'll do it. D-backs get one on the solo jack. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. So remaining in the game defensively, Randall Gritchick. They'll be out center now after pinch hitting. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan Driscoll. The new pitcher in the game, Scott Barlow. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. The why to kick the pitch. And another ball. Ah. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Guriel drop step going back. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Back to the top of the lineup. Now up for Tampa Bay. Josh Lowe pitches in the dirt, and it's two and one. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a two one hammered, but foul. <sighs> out of line, out towards center. Gritchick puts it away for the out. Out number two. And now Tyro Estrada. Fastball up and in. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. I kind of want a Colonial Marines movie. That it's down. not like an alien to me, but it's just Colonial Marines. Where it's like these guys go and fight like another army or something like Space Pirates. Pete Fairbanks. Well, he's been excellent against left handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Finds its way through base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Move to first. Carroll back in standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. First offering. Runner goes. Pitch is high. 
Transfer bobbled, and there's no throw. Clearly not content with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead in today's game, and now they've got a good chance of adding on. Now a check on him at second. That should back be. Safely. That's a bug, by the way. He's going, he's Rudder going. goes again. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. They get the out on Marte, and there's one down. Next to hit for Arizona, Christian Walker. Runner. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. That's in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. In this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal of third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Two outs. This one smoked out to left. Brings it in. And that'll do it. So one hit is all. Back here at Tropicana Field. And here's the first baseman, Yandi Diaz. Oh, he nope. doesn't get the call. And it's two and one. And Great another ball. ball. Right-handed reliever. That one finds the zone. Great Three ball. and two Great down. Strike. Bounce to the left side. Perdomo. Tosses to oh. first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. He's two outs away. Isak Paredes. Next to hit for the Rays. Next pitch is downstairs. One strike. Late that time, and it's strike two. Two two, two two. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. That one 95 to finish him off. Randy or Rosa Reynas next to hit for the Rays. They're down to their final strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some more. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Oh, he was going to go three and a half. Everything and came out. together but, perfectly oh. for him right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do that one down the line, and it gets by him. A Rosarino flies around third. He scores. It's six-two. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Get to Driscoll. Inside almost got him. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Next offering is foul back. One run across to the frame so far. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is out of here. His 23rd of the year in 6-4. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Seawall takes over on the mound. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season so far. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Here's the catcher, Logan Driscoll. The pitch. And a foul ball. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. 
One strike away. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul oh, ball. Come on. And another ball. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Lifted to left, and that should do it. He's got it. Ball game. Oof. And the Diamondbacks take game one of the ah. series on the road. It's always nice All right. to grab cool. the cool. of the series. Cool. You come into cool. a new cool. ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. Florida's the background. Big, big. Big game, Florida. Big game, Florida. I thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you all next time. Bye.